Lakers, Raptors in LA. Uh, end of the game, fourth quarter. 23 free throws for the Lakers and two free throws for the Raptors. Uh, LA wins by one point at the end of the game. Darko, the coach of the Raptors, criticized the referees, criticized the NBA, claimed that there was favoritism, claimed that uh, uh, Scotty Barnes should be getting more fouls because he's driving to the basket strong. My take on that is, well, I wonder if uh, Darko would have complained if they uh, had won their game. I wonder. My understanding he wouldn't complain because they won the game. Also my understanding is uh, what he, he claimed to say, he said that uh, there was, uh, he understands, there was his words, that there is uh, stars in LA or superstars or all stars and he claimed that uh, the rep they've got superstars as well. Scotty Barney is one of them. And as a matter of fact, Scotty Barney is a candidate to become a, uh, the face of the league. Big words, but you know, if I was the coach of Scotty Barnes, I would probably say the same. Because obviously he believes in him and uh, believes he, of he, on his uh, qualities. Scotty Barnes, great player, no doubt. I love the guy, I love his game, I love his strength, I love his, uh, the way he drives to the basket, the way he takes it in all the time. Uh, to be honest, I didn't watch the full game. I saw some of the fouls that was called against uh, the Raptors, including the moving screen on Scotty Barnes, sorry, the moving screen on uh, Pascal Siakum on uh, Anthony Davis. The way Anthony Davis went to the ground, I thought it was a bit soft and I didn't think he merited a foul, to be honest. But, you know, going back onto it, what do I really think about the fact that, you know, Scotty Barnes, two free throws in uh, fourth quarter. He drove to the basket about eight times, I think, on that game. Uh, there was one specific one. I thought Anthony Davis got him. It was a clear block. Uh, the others, they are 50-50. Could have gone either way. So just to say to all referees out there, look, we are not there to manage the foul count. We are there to call what is there. If there's a foul, we're going to call it. If there's no foul, we're not going to call it. And we are not there to make sure there's 10 fouls for LA and 10 fouls for Raptors just because it looks uh, fair but we are there to call fouls. If there's a foul, we call it. If there's no foul, we don't call it. Again, I'm not saying the referees don't make mistakes. Some of the fouls that you're called, uh, especially one, uh, I'm not gonna mention uh, which one it was, but it was quite 50-50. It was quite, quite, quite iffy, I should say. Not 50-50, but iffy. It could have definitely gone be a no call, go call for LA. They went on the line. Uh, Todd, uh, there was one on uh, Anthony Davis went on the line. Uh, by Pisac, uh, Pascal Siakam had his hand straight up. Scotty Barn had his hand straight up. I uh, thought that one was a bit doubtful. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. You, I'll put. I'll put the link with the. The, the, the fourth quarter or the highlights on the fourth quarter down this video down below and you'll let me know what you think about some of the fouls there where the fouls where they're not fouls where the referee is biased 
uh, as you probably know, Jarko got fined 25,000, which is pretty much peanuts to him anyway. And uh, because he criticized, he publicly criticized the referees and he publicly criticized the NBA. So obviously, this just serves as a warning. If this uh, behavior keeps going, he's gonna get penalized even more. Uh, but was he right? I think sometimes we go back and think about uh, the Lakers and the Sacramento Kings series a few years ago where similar situation happened where the foul counts were completely, uh, you know, some of the fouls, if you look, I will also put a link about this uh, a clip about this uh, game uh, between LA and Sacramento a few years ago where Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant end up uh, winning the series in seven. So is the NBA fair? Is the NBA uh, ripped? I don't think so personally. I think referees make mistakes like players make mistakes but uh, referees don't put the ball in the basket and uh, players do. So at the end of the day, sometimes you, because a foul was missed here, a foul was missed there, it wouldn't make any difference. Uh, I, I encourage and uh, would tell all the players, just play your game, keep playing until the end, don't worry about the referees. And, uh, you know, for Darko, I understand his frustration, I understand where he comes from, but also, uh, Darko needs to understand there is a policy for a reason. You can't publicly criticize a referee like that. It could be repression on a referee. He's still a uh, person that uh, walks on the streets and goes to the shops. And a lot of these fans are sometimes a bit crazy. So the safety of the referee goes first. And if there is any issue, it can always be uh, resolved with an email, a letter to uh, uh, Adam Silva and the NBA instead of making it public and criticizing a referee and the NBA the way uh, Jaco did. Uh, do I think things like that will happen again? Yes, of course. And do I think uh, we should make a big deal out of it? Yes, of course, because everybody has to be, uh, be accountable for they, what their job is. That's why we record all the games, so I, why we have uh, records of all the fouls and referees. They referee the game and what happens on the games. Uh, I believe the NBA should just make a rule or not put referees to referee certain games because certain teams are uncomfortable with certain referees and uh, it's just, just to not put this referee on that game, it just makes things easier for the referee and also for the players and also for the uh, spectators. So they are not on the edge when they have a referee that ref them in the past and they've got bad uh, report from their specific referee. I believe we are all professionals all the players are professional, all the coaches are professional, all the referees are professional enough to tolerate each other's mistakes, to talk in a professional manner. I believe uh, when the situation where you have 23 to 2 free throws discrepancy, you should uh, just at least be very communicate a lot with the coach that is getting all these foul against. Uh, I think Darko said there was not much communication, but no one was telling them they wanted to uh, discuss the fouls or anything. Uh, I, I believed I wouldn't change the calls, but I'll communicate with him a little bit better and assure them that you are doing the right, making the right calls according to you. That's what you see, that's what you call as a referee. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much my take on that. Uh, I'm doing a bit of a walk of a vlog and uh, I'm in uh, Armstrong's Creek which is near Geelong 
as you can see behind inside there a lot of construction a lot of houses being built beautiful place uh, a bit windy today hope you can hear me clear but uh, yeah so just uh, sharing with you guys uh, what's coming up uh, so the uh, Burns City Classic is coming up I'll be there refereeing and coordinating so I'll be refereeing some games and I'll be coordinating some games so it's just a uh, tournament is gonna be happening soon if you want any more any more uh, information about the uh, Burns City Classic coming up make sure to hit me down below I've got this beautiful cat here meowing at me don't know where it comes from it looks like it's lost it looks like it's lost can you see the beautiful cat ah oh, big stretch big stretch good boy I reckon I have to take you home should I take him home <laughs> I should take see if I can find somebody where where do you come from come with me little one so uh, if you found this uh, vlog valuable to you subscribe to my channel like this video comment on this video give me your point of view your opinion and I'll be able to and uh, talk to you then anyway make sure to share this channel and also don't miss hi can you see the cat behind me down there he's following me very cute all gold <laughs> And uh, yes, yeah, so also watch this video over here and this one over here and click on the face, my face down here, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss my next video. Until then, I'm always giving you my best.